This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a gas dryer that's taking too long to dry the clothes. It could be a clog vent tube or also the primary and secondary gas coils could be getting weak. So we're going to remove these two screws that are part of the stacking of this Frigidaire washer and dryer. And then once we get that off, we're going to pull the dryer out toward us a little bit to expose some screws on the bottom. We have to lift up the dryer and then pull toward us by a few inches. And we're going to remove a couple of screws on the bottom of this this bottom panel actually comes loose so these are Phillips head screws undo those two and then we can take the bottom panel off and we have really good access to the primary and secondary gas coils and they're like the little electromagnets that are used to hold uh, the burner uh, flame on longer which helps to dry the clothes but when they get weak they don't allow the flame to go long enough. So we have to remove these two power connectors from these black, these black round things are the primary and secondary gas coils. So we're going to just pull these off. Sometimes you can use a little standard head screwdriver or a, a lever to help you get those off. And then there's just two Phillips head screws. It's not much room there, so I'm using this angle tool to get into these two Phillips head screws to remove them. And they are holding a metal bracket that holds on the coils, and then you can just slide them off. It's pretty fast and easy. So I'm just getting that screw. It's a little bit off camera, but it's just a few inches from the screw we just removed. Now we can take the metal bracket off, and now we can pull the coils straight off these pins. Uh, the one furthest from you is a skinnier one and the one closest to you is a fatter one. Here's the model or the part number for the primary and secondary gas coils and these will work for any gas dryer. It's pretty generic. So the skinny one goes further away and the bottom one pin there's a round kind of like almost like a washer. Got to make sure that that is on the stem before you put on the coil and on this fatter one the um, terminals are down on, uh, on the bottom so they're kind of opposite the skinny one the terminals are on the top bottom one terminals are on the bottom put the bracket back on and there's little indexing pins on the coils that have to fit the correct way into the bracket and then we put the screws back in so pretty easy to put the one in close to you, the one a little bit further, kind of hard to reach in there, but you can, if you have a magnet uh, screwdriver, you can hold on to it and then get it in. And that solved the problem. So I hope that's been helpful to you and fixes your dryer too. Thanks for watching.